What up, Melso? Your boy Shaka Three C from Melso. The comment today. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a blitz scheme. Uh, it's gonna be out of the Big Dine Two Three Six Sam. Uh, here we go. Big Dine Two Three Six Sam. Now, this year you gotta have a scheme, guys. You gotta have a run stopper. You gotta have a play that's gonna go ahead and send the blitz. Play max coverage at the same time, depending on what your opponent is doing. Because if not, it gets really annoying. So your player, your team, uh, your whoever you're playing is a heavy passer. You want to come out in the 236 Sam. This is a really good defense, okay? Uh, DB Fire 2. Okay, you come out there, combine it with other defenses, like the cover 2, etc. And let's say you're coming out in this play right here. So what you want to do, you, there's two ways you could do it. Base line press would be the easiest way. You see, it has everybody set up. Now, sometimes this guy gets stuck over here in the left. You want to move him a little bit to the outside. It's like a step, and there you go. It's pretty much set. You can pass commit, hike the ball, and there we go. He's gonna come off the edge there, and this time he got blocked. The other guy got a block shit. So again, baseline press, pass commit, there we go, and there we go. We got the edge. That's what we want right there. Again, baseline press. This is so simple. Okay, baseline press, you're set. Right there, you got a, a edge blitz coming in. Notice that the edge blitz came in. He got kind of stuck there. I uh, didn't move him out that much. So move him out a little bit right there. You're pretty much set to go. See, base, uh, with the baseline press. Move that guy to the outside, and he's coming clean to the quarterback. Now, you could do uh, different things with this defense, guys. Baseline press. Okay, move this guy to the outside. Put this guy in coverage. There we go. So now we got uh, all these people in coverage, all right? So this right side is in coverage. Now we're just lurking the right, the left side. See that? We're gonna go ahead and pass commit. We already moved the guy to the outside. Okay, there we go. We're still putting pressure. Okay. And uh, the guy's still gonna come out the left side. Okay, now, sometimes you might not baseline press real quick. Sometimes you might wanna put a spy here just in case he decides to run. Put it right here. Put the guy to the outside. You do whatever you want. Right there. So you can move this guy, put him in zone if you want to. Okay, just lurk. You see anything you want, and then you still get the edge on the left side. Okay, uh, you could do the same thing on the right, based on that press. Let's get to the outside, make it look the same. I don't know what happened there. Okay, make it look the same. You wanna? I don't know. You wanna man up all these guys over here? Put a spy on this guy if you want. Okay, this guy moved to the outside right there. You don't have to move him out. Sometimes he'll still come in, even if you just leave him there. Okay, and there we go. He's coming off the edge right there. Now, he's not coming off the edge. That's fine. We know he's a heavy passer, right? He's going to have to look for that read quick because you got a spy. Face the line press. So right here, we're set. We're pretty much there. We got everybody coverage over here. Okay, we got the blitz coming on. Pass commit. Hike the ball. And he's coming out the edge and he wants to run this way. The spy is there. You see that? As soon as he moves, that block shit is going to come in and he hesitates. He even hesitates. Okay. So move this guy to the outside. You could even put this guy in a spy instead this time also. You can do whatever you want, different things. Okay. If they're doing the, the freaking uh, display where they have a... Uh, post route, you could even man up this guy there. See? You could just do different things. And we're still sending the blitz on the right side. Okay, there we go. So you see that? So this is how we do a little blitz scheme, guys. Um, out of this formation. Again, you could just base a line press right here. Okay. Move this guy a little bit to the outside if you want. He's not going in with him a little bit to the outside just in case he's getting stuck. And then hike the ball. He's going to come off the edge over here. As you guys can see, guys. So that's how you set up this play, guys. Hope this play is helpful. Hope it uh, let me know if you guys need help with this. If not, I'll be more than glad to help you guys out with anything, guys. We'll see you guys later. It's your boy, Shaka3D. Find me on Don't forget to comment, like,